Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thanks so much for joining me. It is lovely to have you here as always. And today is Saturday, so it is playing with book page, um, book text page. And I have had, as you can probably see already, an amazing time <laughs> with some vellum, some book page scraps and some stitching. Now, You'll probably love or hate these um, if you're not into the grungy type of um, noisy <laughs> and sewn uh, things in your journal. It's probably not you. You know, if you like the lovely um, shabby chic lacy, although you could do these with pinks and, um, you know, cotton fabrics and things like that. But you can probably hear by the noise that I'm making that they're absolutely lovely um, sounding wise. The texture on them bring this one in I haven't stitched this one yet the texture is oh, it's just so lovely lovely and smooth and gorgeous and um yeah they're great great fun to make if you like sewing and you like threads and what have you now you wouldn't necessarily have to leave all the threads like that you could trim them off you could put less threads but I kind of got the idea from um skimming through Instagram and um, I didn't stop at this particular place, but I did see lots of squares of um, scrapbooking paper. It wasn't text paper, it was scrapbooking paper. Um, it wasn't on vellum, but it looked like it was kind of all stitched together like that. So like kind of, um, kind of like patchwork, but with holes in between where only the thread was holding it together. So it was very loose and um, yeah, jiggly abouty, <laughs> if that's a word. Um, and that's kind of where, this is where my brain took me from that, like, oh, I was thinking, well, maybe she did it on some uh, material or something, like tissue paper that would, you know, pull away afterwards. Um, but I thought, oh, wouldn't it be nice on vellum and to keep the vellum? Now, I wasn't sure if I wanted to rip uh, down the edges and make it, I might try because it's so easy to make, you know, make it a bit more random looking rather than on a nice square. And I hear you instantly saying to me, what on earth will I do with them? <laughs> um... I mean, you could cut them up because they're, they're stitched so well, you know, they wouldn't come apart um, just from cutting through some of the stitches. Um, and when I made this one, I only made this one a few minutes ago as well. I was thinking I could make them even smaller or cut this one in half um, and they would make nice pockets. You know, they can go in your book as pages, in your journal as pages, do the big A4 ones. They can, or you can just... Um, you probably have to cut, you wouldn't be able to tear, you know, just take pieces off them and put them, you can make a nice corner, pocket out of that. I guess any way you would use collage boards, really. Um, I won't know until I start using them just how how effective they are. But yeah, I definitely like the idea of, of doing a smaller one like that and making it. Um, I like the fact that you can see through it, but I would also think some collaged on top of each other would be nice as well. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Now, the only issue is... When you first put the glue, the glued, um, yeah, you can see them from both sides as well. I forgot to tell you that, you know, so they're beautiful from both sides. Um, yeah, when you put the glue on, because you're just working on one side of the paper, it does completely uh, fold up. I'll start one, because um, I don't want this to be a long video. I am going out soon with Neil. Let's get a piece of gluing paper. Um, I'll start this small one and then you can see it, it completely curls up. And um, I was wondering if I was going to have to put it under books or something to get it, you know, flat afterwards or if it would, um, if it would always be crinkly. I don't know. I didn't know what I would, would do. But as if by magic, within about half an hour of me sticking it on, um, paper flattened out again. So I guess as the, as the glue dries, the paper goes back to its original state. I've gone right up to the edge there, but I'm thinking this one might be a pocket. So um, you can also just grab and stick, especially with... Whoops, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited I'm breathless. Can you hear? <laughs> uh, which is that last one that I just did, this one. I did literally put them random, just grabbed, started anywhere as... This was the first one I did, and I kind of went in rows or lines, um, you know, mixing them up so they weren't straight lines, but, you know, kind of kept them square. This one I went very square. And then that one I went random, so, um, well, there you go, look, we're curling already. Curling up already. Uh, 
I don't need to be on that. Maybe I should have a piece of paper under there, shouldn't I? So you can see what's going on because you can't see through the vellum. That means I need another one to glue on. Oops. All right, can you see everything there? I think so. I'll probably move to the side in a minute to glue. Just want to get some more down on this piece while it's while it's doing its wiggly thing. So yeah, more more fun than you can shake a stick at, as I like to say. Yeah, need it need it a bit nearer to me. That's better. It's nearer to you as well, isn't it? Um, I find I've got a lot of yellowy pages and not many white ones. I obviously find the yellowed books more interesting. Yes, yeah, so I'm going right up to the edge. Um, on this one. I will stop and, and sew but I won't be able to sew this one. I'm going to turn them all sideways and upside down and back to front as well so that there isn't a right way uh, around for it. Yeah this one won't be dry in time. It is uh, it's Saturday and it's Neil's day off and we are going to the pictures and we're going out for a Chinese meal afterwards so we're having a proper a proper date. We haven't had one of these for a, ooh, quite a long time, so really looking forward to it. I believe Tanya's going out to the pictures. Tanya at Tati Treasure tonight as well, but we are, uh, yeah, we're towns apart, <laughs> so we're not going to the same pictures. I think we're going to see the same thing. So yeah, exciting, exciting times here, but that means I, you know, it, it's quite late in the afternoon now, and uh, it means I can't, can't hang around. <laughs> Wait for it to dry before I show you it. So that's why I did a couple up ready. Neil's been cutting the lawn, so I I did a couple while I was waiting for him to be quiet because he's well, all on those are noisy, aren't they? And um, yeah, he was right under my window here. Yeah, when they curl up, they look like they're not sticking, but they are. As soon as they flatten out again, the glue kind of grabs again. I thought that was my first one. I thought the corners were, are all going to be stuck up, but they weren't. As if by magic, they all laid down. And I'm using my cheap glue. I finally found a good use for it because it's um, it's a lot drier and a lot less sticky. It, it is sticking them, but it's a lot less sticky than, you know, the good one that I was using the, um, what was I using? Scotch glue. So finally, a use for it. And I, because I knew I was stitching on top of them, if it becomes, I don't think it will. It seems to be grabbed well, but you never know. If it becomes unstuck, it will just add to the piece because the, um, the stitching, the stitching will hold it. So another win-win. I'm not thinking too much about what I put on the back, but I'm trying not to put plain. Yeah, so it's got interesting stuff on the back there. Um, yeah, I used all my used all my interesting bits of paper that were cut up. I had quite a few cut up uh, from other projects, and uh, I used them while I was waiting. <laughs> I've got all the same ones left now. I haven't got any of this. This is a bit of my Shakespeare book that I've had for years. Do some tearing by hand as well. Oops, as well. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind them that shape, but oh, it's the sort of paper that is not going to tear in a straight line. So, so there we go. Do you have a biggish one on there? Yes. Yeah, I'm thinking you could cut like full text blocks out, couldn't you? Full paragraphs, I guess, half pages. If you had enough to, you know, um, put different ones together on a page, that would be nice. Right, when I've done this one, I'm going to leave it to dry and I'm going to do one where I actually overlap them and see, see what happens there. I've got some more white, please. Let's go where you are that way, so we'll go that way. That's quite a thick piece. Oh, and it's very nearly plain on the back after I said I wasn't putting plain. It has got a pencil. Um, two letters, luckily. Like I said, I didn't look at the back before. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. I can live with that. I've got 
any of this one is so hard to tell. <laughs> So upside down and all the way around. Um, I have to tell you about uh, Simba and the black cat. They aren't friends. I went out the uh, day before yesterday it was and Simba was looking at me eyes wide through the window and I went out and said to him, what's the matter? And uh, the black cat shot out, absolutely shot out of the um, the greenhouse and he left his little tinkerbell behind on the floor. He has a bell on him. So I'm thinking... I don't know if they've had a scrap. I don't think so because there's no noise, but I think it keeps trying to get in Simba's beds. And uh, yeah, of course, you don't want you don't want people just helping themselves to your bed, do you? Whoever you are. <laughs> um, so, and it, when he came in, he wouldn't go out again. And when he goes out now, he has a good, he stands at the door and he has a good look round to see if uh, it's around. And... It's a bit better now, two days later, but that first day he, he just wanted to stay in by my side. He didn't uh, he didn't want to, to be out, which is not like him when it's nice weather. It's very, very like him when it's cold. OK, so you can see how that is. Um, it's not it's not uh, folded up as bad as some of them did, actually, but you can see how it's definitely not straight. Well, when that finally dries, it's beautiful and smooth. Like I say, I only did these a few minutes ago and look how much better that one is. The first one that I sewed, I did this morning before we went out and when I came back it's as flat and lovely as a pancake. So I'm thinking that one will, will do the same. And that one. <laughs> so let's do one where I put them all on top of... I've got some more here. Yeah. Uh, this is the thin vellum I'm using as well. I feel that it's better than the thick um, just because you get a lot more crinkle. You know that noise especially i mean it, the noise is nice when you've got the paper on it but once it's dried and stitched it really does that big one i mean you could back, put a backing on it couldn't you you could stick that on top of a digital and have the digital showing through i don't think i've got one here in reach mm, no i've got some uh, scrapbooking paper let's have a look you know, just to give a, a rough idea. Yeah, if it's a nice bright, so you could have a lovely backing paper stuck to it behind, that would be nice. Lovely. I think I said, didn't I, you could do it with scrapbook paper um, because I, the original idea that I saw was, um, it was grungy. I think it was paper, it could have been material, but I think it was, you know, like scrap papers. I was thinking I might do it in half and half again and then do two two pockets where they're completely covered and see what they're like. So I guess it's just collaging on vellum, isn't it? But but I want it to, uh, you know, angles. So it's like um, paper confetti that's just dropped on the on the page, as it were. So yeah, we probably won't have neat edges. Let's see. I hope you're all well and uh, having a lovely weekend. I, as you know, I'm excited to be heading off out. Once this is uploaded, it will, I think, just about be time to go. Look, I've got a bit of embossed there. That's nice. I have put it on the other one of the other ones. Stop curling on me. Right, that might be nice in in the top corner. Ooh, got glue on myself. I've done quite well till now, haven't I? So the pink journals um, yesterday. Uh, the first one, the one that I made off camera, is sold and headed off to its new home to a, a repeat buyer. And. Um, the second one I'll be putting in Etsy tomorrow. I'll be doing the draw, hopefully, when I get in tonight. You know, the draw for the... Unless anything goes wrong. I don't think we're drinking, so it shouldn't. <laughs> um, the redraw. If not, it will be first thing in the morning. But I'm hoping... Hoping I will uh, get that sorted tonight. I could do it now, but I've got to wait for this to upload, so... I 
I didn't get ahead because I had a, a sore back and I was just uh, I was just doing one video a day so I knew I knew I'd have time to squeeze one in today. Right, so if you go on top of all that, that's it. Now we're going to start and kind of connect it all. Now this one's going to take quite a bit longer to dry as well, isn't it? It's going to... I want to leave some of the vellum showing, otherwise no point, I guess, it being on vellum, but not a lot of it. That's nice. See, sometimes the torn shapes are wanted. <laughs> what, what, where is the paper that I was tearing? I don't think I've even were tearing I don't think we even got any of it what did I do with all that well isn't that strange is this it this is it hey fool <laughs> William William Shakespeare that's what I was trying to say where is all the William Shakespeare again it's not white it's got that yellow Oh, I think these might be nice with the, the flowers on them, the spring flowers that I've got uh, from Tina and Tanya's kit. And the first one I inked as well, mostly. I've inked a lot of those, which makes a big difference. I've just realised I haven't inked any of these, which might have been a good idea as I'm overlapping them. That's a nice one. And yeah, tomorrow will be scraps with the scrap box, which is absolutely overflowing. <laughs> I made a lot of scraps with those pink journals because, you know, the smaller pages and they were cut neat. So there was a lot of trimming going on to do that. I quite like the way the, um, the text is going in different directions. That's That's interesting as well. Yeah, I think I like that when it's dry. I like that bit of... Can you see there's a bit showing through? No, he's showing you on that. Is there? What did I do with that? Yeah, so there's a bit showing through here and there. Um, but it make make a nice pocket when it's when it's dry. I think it'd be thick enough for a pocket, but I could back it. So I was going to do this one as well, wasn't I? Um, should we do some nice square blocks on this one? I think I need to change my glue page. So let's do some blocks and see what that looks like. Like uh, Jenga. Now, I think it's officially summer here in the UK. <laughs> kind of, tongue-in-cheek, because we've had an ice cream van round today. Now, I don't know if that is just a UK thing, where the ice cream uh, man, or an ice cream seller, because it's not always a man, it could be a woman, um, yeah, comes around in a, a van with a bell and rings the bell and everybody goes out for an ice cream or a lolly or whatever. Yeah, is that is that just a kind of a UK England thing? Um, I know people. I know other countries have ice cream vans in parks and things like that. But do they come round the streets to your houses ringing a bell? I'd love to know. Let me know. Oops. Cheers. And if you're in the UK, have you had the ice cream man round yet? <laughs> I don't know. I have a feeling that's twice. I think I might have heard him once before um, when I was sat up here. I don't know if I mentioned it to you or not, but um, yeah, if, if it is, it is only twice that I've heard him. Mm, quite like it. It is like Jenga, actually. It's like doing a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> I like it. You could just sit with a, a pile of your scraps and a pile of venom. Venom? <laughs> No, don't do that. Don't sit with a pile of venom. Won't do you any good at all. <laughs> oh, there you go, Tina. Uh, Tanya, there's another one for you. I make a laugh with me. The words that I make up. I'd like you in there. I don't really want you to touch. Vellum. Yeah, you could just sit with a pile of scraps of vellum and uh, a glue stick. And you'd soon have loads of them knocked up and then you could, you know, let them all dry and then do a like a mass a mass sew. She'll go upside down with you. Don't want anything the right way up. It can go on either way now, can't it? Because I've got, got something going in every direction. 
I like that. It'd be nice with these little tiny ones if you could be bothered. You know, like mosaic and then a, a colour behind it. Ooh, see, see how long I've been at it and look what I've got. I've got two A4 pieces. Two A5s and what are they? I don't know. Sixes? Are they A6s when you cut them in half again? Probably not. I should know, shouldn't I? But I don't. Um, so, do I want to do one more? Yeah, do one more. It's not been that long, look, have I? And um, yeah, I'd rather get all these on. All these bits that are torn up. Yeah, let, let's do a, a polishing up job and put all these on so i won't have to be choosy will i because i've got not not much to choose from so some big some little let's put a big one in the middle uh, no not in the middle i'm going to leave a big margin on this one i think to, to get more strings going that sounds like our gate i think he's finally finished his oh he might be putting oil in the car the oil light came on while we were out today. Um, it has its service in June when it has its oil changed, I believe, or checked anyway in the garage. We've never had to put oil in it before. We've never had the light come on, so I think that's what he's doing. We have to call and grab some some oil at the shop while we was out. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of yellow page going on here, but I'm just going to go with it. Oh, I'm just thinking these would be nice splattered, wouldn't they? With, um, gessoed or splattered. Splattered with ink, splattered with gold. Oh, I'm definitely going to do that to some. I will share them with you when I get them done. Look how um, little I've used and I've nearly filled the page. Yeah, this will be a nice one for splattering and inking. I'm excited now. I knew it would be a... a a mistake or I had a feeling it might be a mistake crafting before I was due due to go out and I've got to go and wash my hair yet yeah. oh I really want some white now I'm going to yeah I'm going to have a little bit of this one I don't want to go to all the effort of all that sewing and gluing just for me not to like it okay Oh, stuck. I can have a nice long one. I can. That's good. Yeah, it's not until they've got the sewing on, though, um, that they, they really come into their own, as you can see. What do I want there? I want another bit of white. Some... Oh, I've got these. These. Um, I've been tearing a stamp book apart. Do you have that in it? Why not? You know for the text and there were some stamps left over with no text as such on them but it's like double-sided so it's a bit of interest isn't it and i've got a tiny Ooh, let's have that there could even have a strip across there couldn't i let's have this then that about a, yes, a, um, a title. Lord or Lace Study Day of the Victorian Albert. Ooh, lace Study, that sounds nice, doesn't it? That sounds right up my street. And I think I've put them all the right way up, just about, so we'll go upside down with that one. I feel I've just got a little hole there. we want in it a piece of that yes yeah. oh yes that's it right these i can't i can't sew any of these because they are too, you know they, they do need half an hour to to flatten out i probably could that one okay i'll, I'll do this one and i'll come back on as quick as i can Oh, have I got time to join a film now? Hmm. Okay, done it. So this is it. So I haven't put quite so many threads on it. I was rushing a little bit, but um, yeah, I thought it might be nice to show you one with less, less threads rather than more. 
and look at look at all these so when i get to the end i stop and, and cut my thread and then start again somewhere else that's how i ended up with all these lovely threads i think these are definitely going to be you know part of my next grungy journal um a couple of these on the pages um i think i might do just oh, i could just go round them but i might do just some squiggly running straight lines through this and use this one to tear and just I just brought back to show you that on the back of it. Yeah. Lovely with digitals behind, definitely. Um, they don't have to be stitched. I'm looking at this and thinking it is actually well down. You, you wouldn't have to stitch that if you didn't want to. You could just use that in, as whatever a page or something on. And again, if you splattered it or, you know, some ink, some coffee dye, whatever, it would be lovely. Yeah, these ones I think I am going to make into pockets. I will put some stitching on that, I think. Oh, nice that way as well. It's very wet at the moment. It's not quite as, as nice, but you could put it down that way and then you've got no um, edges at all, you know, to catch. I don't think there will be, particularly when it's dry, but yeah, just a bit, um, just a little bit more uh, of a foggy look, I guess. What's the word? Opaque, is it? Opaque or translucent? I think it's opaque when it looks like that. There's the one, the, the back of the one where I just used all the bits up. And this is the original that I started with. So, wow, look what I've got there already. Let me put the lid on that glue. I've already got a stash of, of whatever it, it is. What is it? I, I don't know. I need a name for it. <laughs> Grungy book page collage lovely absolutely i lovely just a hoard <laughs> what a nice stash yeah with or without the stitching actually okay hope you enjoyed that i know it's been a quick video but um yeah i'm going out now i'm gonna wash me out and i'm off out for the night i will see you all tomorrow bye for now